Hi guys, this is Alicia from I Am The Natural Girl coming with you all with a deep wave so in. So I am on the last braid. I braid my hair on an angle. I like braiding it on the angle, especially on the sides. Not too much in the back straight across, but this is what I opt for. Once that's done, you're gonna do an under braid and tuck the little tail underneath and you wanna sew that down. All right, so I don't know what this brand is. It's my first time using the brand. I actually like the brand. I bought it at $7.99 and this is a 10 inch. This is deep wave hair. I like using deep wave hair. Uh, for you all don't know, I had had a soft wave in two years. So therefore, I'm trying this sewing thing out for the new year and as you can see I have started on the back all right so I'm at the very end sewing this down and you want to stick the needle in the wealth of the hair this will reassure that your extensions extensions or weave won't move and I place the needle right between the two threads and I pull straight through All right, right here what I'm showing you, as you can see, the hair will be a little bit over, and I purposely did that. I do this, it's a technique that I do, and I will explain why later on in this tutorial, but I like to maybe add a fourth to a half an inch more, um, longer than the actual braid, and add it to the next braid above when I'm sewing it. And as you can see, this is the second width I, have, I am sewing in, and I'm doing the same thing with that. So I like to have a little over, a little extra over when measuring the hair, um, especially around the size perimeter. I like to braid the hair the way the head is naturally shaped um, to give the hair more body. It just flows better and it lays better when you do it that way. I really like to do it straight back too, braiding straight back. So like I said before, it is a story behind this technique that I am doing. Um, quite lengthy, but I promise you I will shorten it. Kind of funny too. Right here I am measuring the hair out. And I like to use a bobby pin to keep the weave, the extensions, the weft all in place. Um, I like to use pin curls to also do so. This will help you to somewhat accurately measure the hair out right. So you won't have them extra pieces laying around and as you can see I'm going from the above braid right underneath the braid I'm sticking it through the weft this will reassure once again that this will not move out of place once the hair starts growing and so and I just like to do this throughout the hair you can sometimes you go under the weft but you know occasionally it will be nice for you to go through the weft because when the hair grows the is your extensions or the weave tends to slip sometimes so you want to just make sure that it doesn't slip and like I said before it's been two whole years I haven't had a sewing and I was like let me go in the new year with a nice little sewing in since I've been on my protective styling game I said let's opt for a sewing since I've been doing braids and I did take a break between my braids all right I like to do the braids on the angle so as you can see I did the front and the angle kind of to give me a uh, side part. I've been doing this technique for a long time, so yeah, I like it that way. So that way, I won't have the hair directly in my face. And I will show you a technique that I use to cover that up, especially you don't have to deal with that pesky old closure. I mean, like for real, y'all. This is gonna be so funny, so so funny when I tell you the story behind why. I do the technique like that. Right here, you want to make sure your threads is at least a quarter and a half an inch spread it apart. This will reassure that your weave will not sleep slip out. I know y'all like I love the half an inch or the quarter. And also, if I got to tell you that right that I'm doing is called the Boy Scott knot, I believe. And I like to do this sometimes. Well, I like to do this throughout the hair, and then uh, occasionally I will. Uh, Go ahead and cut it and tie a knot to make sure this weave is safe from slipping out. So I'm tying a knot. And uh, as you saw me, it's, it's okay to sometimes do that boy scott knot while you're sewing. 
because it's gonna last at least at least two months once again the body paint trick this really works y'all if you do this when you do your wigs you find out that you save a lot of time and you can just keep straight uh sewing in and also I use two needles. Most time I use three needles, but in this case I didn't have a third needle, so I use two needles. I thread all the needles before I start so I could keep straight on. And then I like to take the needle, like I'm showing you again, and placing it through the thread. Now when I start off the other needle, I like to uh, start it um, where I have already sewn it, just to reassure that, uh, not that I put, won't go anywhere or slip out. So just extra precaution so I have reached the top and I'm kind of just winding the hair around almost in a circular motion but quite not and I'm cutting right there at the well I can't wait to tell you all the story oh wow so meanwhile these are the results so far yeah so as you can see I'm showing you the hair, how the hair is laying. Um, this is a few tips and techniques that can help save a lot of time and reassure that your sewing is in great top shape. And I'm going to finish that and leave it that top part. So like I was saying with my story, I'm going to show you, tell you all in a minute. You see how you see no parts on the side. Same here. Well, quite not, kind of. But I'll fix it. Don't worry about it. But right in here, you want to go ahead and take a piece of that wealth and you want to go ahead and spread it down with water. Because here's a trick that I'm going to show you. So you don't have to worry about those closure, those pithy closures. Alright, so you're going to cut the wealth off, the little track piece off. And you want to spray that down again, once again, to re ensure the curl is in the hair. So spread it down. I like to separate this to make it look thinner and also twirl around my fingers to get the curl popping. It's popping. Oh yeah. And right, once that's done, you see me twirling, twirl, twirl. All right, so what I'm about to do a technique is called an interlocking, AKA crochet. And yeah, I don't have a hair needle, so do not talk about me. Please don't talk about me. So right there, I have already started this process up. So you're going to go ahead. I'm going to finish that right there. Um, this was a little difficult considering this isn't a hair crochet needle. But I used, I did the best I can. But you're going to find a spot. That's what I did. And I'm going to place that thin piece right there. Yep. Once I get it on the hook, you're going to go ahead and slide it through. And you're going to tie it in now just like you're doing cro crochets. I'm going to continue doing this process until I'm satisfied. This can help this look natural, very natural. So yeah, I'm going to continue doing it. But let's go ahead and get to the top part. So also I'm doing this in the top, tying those little knots in. Um, when I used to do, I used to do a lot of sewings and I had to find different techniques also save time so therefore sometimes I'll go in and do it this way because I do my own sewing as I create my own sewings I actually sew the closure in myself I sew it then sew in the closure I do not do any glue in closures but this look I really like doing the interlocking technique because it gives you a more natural look um, it helps create value if you tie it right too so it's a technique behind that yeah so now let's spray the hair down with water this is my handy spray bottle right here and I'm dapping the hair so you want the hair quite damp Fathering, following following that you want to go ahead and add the um, shea moisture coconut hibiscus frizz free curl mousse I love this I told you I grabbed this on vacation last year oh my god I forgot this is a new year but go ahead and spread out through your hair all the way from the top to the ends gently. Now, ladies, 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 one thing I have to tell you, when you wear those curly weaves, you need to separate the hair. I mean, sometimes you can get away without separating the hair, but most times, if you're trying to achieve a certain look, it's great to separate the hair. I mean, separate the hair. As you can see right there, and then right here. 
the side that I'm touching is separating this side that I'm spraying it's not and then you go ahead and finger comb it making sure you get the back too and I do like it I like this look I like it like it long but that's a prize for you all in the end so I don't have a diffuser because it broke and I wasn't going out and it's 18 inch snow to get one so I'm opting for just my handy blow dryer so one thing too when you have your curly weave scrunch scrunch rather that curl back into its place that scrunch it back up so you want to use the blow dryer to help doing this process while it's drying and you also want to lift the hair up wherever you want volume at the more you lift the hair up and place the blow dryer or your diffuser there the more volume you would get so that's what I'm doing right here all right, now that it's done, it's not all the way dry, but I'm gonna go ahead for the sake of the video and start cutting layers of my hair. Yeah, don't talk about me the way I am cutting my hair because I'm acting as if I'm a second person cutting my hair to get the look that I want and you will see at the end what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep trimming this end. All right, so the story about the technique, the reason why I have opted for this technique back in the day oh yeah i was outside young with my ex-boyfriend enjoying the weather just sitting out talking and chilling and you know i'm in a windy city so that breeze it was a summer day actually it started the wind started going and i'm thinking i'm so cute and the hair stopped going back exposing all the parts on the sides i mean <laughs> I was so so embarrassed like oh my god so so embarrassed and I kept trying to hold my head down this and, that, and he knew very well what was going on he like something ain't right but yeah that's more behind the story so I got home and I took my weave out and sat there for a long time trying to figure out what technique I could use and I've been using this technique for now 10 years now all uh, because that day back when I'm just doing hair even when I was younger learning how to do hair I never really just focus on style focus on technique because I am an analytical type person because I want to be able to duplicate the hairstyle so I learned how to cut it 13 cut hair yeah, so in th um, 13 14 doing so in so yeah it was a lot of trial and error error but I got through it and I started making money off my sew-ins oh yeah also braiding too. I did a lot of sewing and braiding at a young age. And y'all know back in the day in the nineties the finger waves. So I was doing the hair very young and I'm so blessed to have God sisters, sisters, mothers, godmothers around me to let me experience being in their hair. Yeah. So right now I'm cutting layers in the top too. I really like it cute, but y'all, I knew that I was going to get annoyed. This is, I believe, 10 inch hair. I want to say 10 inch hair. And I knew I was going to get annoyed. Ain't nobody got time for that. So here is the final results. All right, so real quick, because my camera keep cutting off. I ain't got enough room on here. I'm recording this off my phone. But anyhow, this is the final results. I was, I was not going to wear this look long because I knew I was going to get irritated. So I kind of wanted like the bob, peak look, curl look. So um, I did have to add a little piece here and there to make it a little thicker. So I pretty much used both two packs of hair. But I might have to go in and trim it. Then I'm going to re-wet it, mousse it again, and go in with the dryer to make some um to get more value but other than that and i might have to cut some more in the back because i really didn't look at the back but i'll go in and finish that but it kind of give you an idea what of what i'm trying to do so this is the final look this is sewing and i am probably gonna keep this in my hair for maybe i'm gonna try two months um no more than two months but anyhow Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and any comments, any concerns or questions, comment below. And thanks again. Uh, Happy New Year's to you all. Uh, we made it. So, uh, hope you have goals and plans set. Anyhow, I'll do a, um, a tutorial later on letting you all know how do I take care of my sew-ins. I haven't had one in like two years. Other than that, yeah, I like it though. I don't have to rub all the long hair bothering me and stuff like that. And I'll go in and play with it, cut it wherever I need to cut it at. Alright, thanks a lot. Thanks for your support and bye.